Hey, we want to talk about expectations on the project. Um, there's nothing worse than unrealized expectations or actually not knowing the expectations. What happens when you, when you get an estimate from us or mostly any other painting company, electrician, carpenter, they're going to usually come out. We do our estimates virtually initially. They're going to come out, walk through the project with you. That is the, the ultimate time to explain to whoever you're hiring what you fully expect. So if you look at the walls behind me, which are old paneled rough walls, obviously they're not going to look smooth when we're done or when anybody's done. But the homeowner may think that they are going to look like brand new walls. If you haven't discussed it, you can end up with an issue at the end of the job where the customer thinks you did a horrible job, but in reality, you never really explained to the customer um, what they should expect when the job's done. So some important questions for the customer to ask. Um, number one is time frame. When can this job be done? Uh, on the customer end, it's very hard to find a quality company if you had lack of preparation and planning where you want to get your paint job done next week. Uh, you're probably going to end up with a company who's not going to give you a great job. Uh, potentially that's not always the case. Maybe they had an opening in their schedule, but plan ahead. Know what you want to have done. There's nothing worse than when we show up on an estimate where the client just doesn't know. They may say, oh, give me a price on the ceiling here, but not in this room. Give me a price on the walls, but only three walls. Can you just touch up this trim? Um, I don't know what colors I'm gonna use. And then by the time the job begins, the customer had to come back and ask uh, sometimes 10, 15 different ways to add this, subtract that. What did that mean? Are we doing this? What colors are we using? And the big one is when the job is about to start and the colors weren't discussed on the estimate and the customer hands you a color that looks like my shirt. So in the painting world, we know that a color like this, most likely you're going to have a problem doing it in two coats. Sometimes it takes three. With some reds, it takes four, maybe more. It also may require a primer underneath of that. So the customer is not going to understand you that um, that's going to be an additional charge because you didn't, you didn't talk about it during the estimate. So again, it's a great question for a customer to ask. Uh, how many painters are going to be on site? Remember, don't equate the number of painters on site with the speed the job is going to be done in. That's not always the case. Um, sure, we could throw 10 people into a room this size. It does not mean it's going to get done faster. They're actually going to be on top of one another. Um, it's hard to regulate quality at that point. So it's important to ask how many painters will be on site? How long will this job typically take? Remember, things can happen on the beginning on the end. You could have weather issues if you're doing exterior. <clears throat> People do get sick. Um, things happen in people's families, so sometimes days need to be missed. And remember, family is always first, more than any painting job. Um, so other questions to ask are, how are you going to prepare this job? How much spackling are you going to do? Are you going to move the furniture or not? Or is the homeowner expected to do that? Um, um, who's going to be in my house? Do we know who's going to be in the house? It's uh, super important if you have children around that, or anybody around, that you know who's going to be in the house. Is there going to be a project manager on site or not? It depends on the job. So a smaller job is not going to really require a project manager, where a larger job may require one coming out every day. Just depends on the project. So there are a few of the most important questions. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more. We can get into that in another video. Video, but just make sure you're open and you're honest with whoever you're giving an estimate to. It's the perfect opportunity when they're right in front of you to ask every question possible so you don't have to go back and go back and forth with emails and text messages and phone calls. Um, by the time you do all that multiple times, everybody starts to get confused and you've talked to two or three other painting companies or other contractors and you start to actually mix them up with each other. Um, and by the time the job starts, painting company A, you're thinking that they're doing what painting company B told you they would do.